What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and I've noticed a lot of people on social media are asking about the 20 foot lad. Now if you don't know, if you haven't followed us before, we build a 16 foot lad, which is our most affordable option. They start out at under $35,000, depending on the options that you choose. A lot of people thought 16 was too small or it wouldn't work out for them. So we decided to add four feet to it, which is really gonna expand the amount of things that you could do with this house while also keeping the price affordable. I have a 20 foot lad behind me that is well on the way. I just wanna take you around and show you some of the features, mostly on the inside, to give you a better idea of what it's gonna look like when it's finished. So like I said, this one's 20 feet instead of 16 feet, and it's not gonna be a whole lot more expensive than the 16 footer, but the one thing that I wanna show you from the outside that's changed is we of course added four feet down to the end, and we slid down the door. If you look at the other 16 foot lads, they're about right here, we slid it down a little bit farther, and when you get inside, that's gonna make a lot more sense as to why we did that. So the 16 foot lad, mostly for the most part, your bed and your couch had to serve as the same place. And a lot of people don't like to lay where they've been sitting all day. They wanna have different areas. And the great thing about this one, it really opens up the opportunity to not have to do that anymore. Also, let me say, this is very much a construction zone. So just please keep that in mind. I apologize for that. But on this corner over here, you can see, and I had the idea we can put a, you could put an L-shaped couch here. And then on the corner over here, there is, uh, you could sit back and watch your TV mounted to the wall. Now over in the corner, over this way, you could put a couch, you, have, you could put lazy boys, there's plenty of room to do that. So there's lots of options. With a 16 foot lad, you didn't really have that. But since we've added four feet to the space, it gives you a lot more options and a lot more versatility as to what you can do in terms of separating your sleeping and your living space. And basically it gives way, way more opportunity to do what it is that works best for you. So we're still in the early building processes of the home, but this layout allows you to have much more kitchen space. You're gonna be able to put a full size fridge here, way more countertop space, just way more usable if you wanna cook meals or spend lots of time in the kitchen. In the kitchen, we'll have deep stainless steel uh, sink. You'll have either, you could either have an electric or gas cooktop, two burner, and you'll have lots of butcher block countertop, storage underneath, shelves above. This is gonna be a very, very functional kitchen. So this area here, you can either have a large built-in floor to ceiling built-in for your clothes or whatnot. You could also have that in conjunction with a washer dryer hookup. So overall, having four feet of extra additional living space, along with the ability to have a stackable washer and dryer and a full-size fridge, the 20-foot lad makes full-time living much easier. So if you look at the fact that this tiny house has four extra feet, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in the tiny house world, that is a lot, and you give, have way more configurations in the living space, it really makes it more livable for one to two people full-time, or really great for uh, Airbnb. And then if you look at the fact that the kitchen has way more usable space, you can have a full-size fridge in there, so there's less trips to the grocery store. It also has a full-size shower, which is uh, 32 inches, stand-up shower, flush toilet. You can even do a compost toilet if you want. Uh, you can pay us to do that. And the tiny house is extremely well insulated. You have a 50-year roof on the top. And of course, you also have the mini split, which is really efficient and allows you to have heating and cooling in basically any climate in the United States. Then the fact that you could actually put in a stackable washer and dryer, all these things added together really make this tiny house a lot more livable full-time. And given the price range of this tiny house, we feel like for this price range is the nicest tiny house in the market for what you get. We took the tiny house from 16 to 20 feet and still kept it very affordable to make it fully livable. So if you have any questions about our LAD model or any other model that we offer, just email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com or go to tinyhouselistings.build where you can get more information. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.